Hello, I'm going to talk about the GPT list function. So let's say that I want to write five taglines for a garage. So let's first do it with the GPT uh, function and see what I get. Okay, so I get five taglines um, that are numbered one, two, three, four, five. Uh, this is, the problem with that is not very usable um, in a spreadsheet itself. So, plus I have all these quotation marks around, which is not great. So, let's now do it with GPT list. And there you go. I get uh, five taglines in each of one, each is included in its own cell. So it makes it really easy to then uh, work with it in your spreadsheet. Plus there is no numbers, there is no quotation marks. Uh, it's easy to edit. As you can see, I can just, yeah, each tagline is, its, is in its own cell. Um, so this should uh, really help you work with when you want uh, to generate ideas. Uh, also, I mean, like the GPT function, you can um, uh, write your prompt in uh, more than one cell. So let's say, for example, uh, that, okay, I'll just delete this. Let's say that you wanted to include a joke and you wanted to clarify that the country is, uh, I don't know, um, Iceland. Okay. So here I can do GPT list again, and I will put all this range in uh, a function, and then I will add some temperature to make it more creative. And there we go. So as you can see, it did take into account uh, both this instruction and the fact that the country is Iceland. Um, which is really nice, really, really nice. Uh, okay, hope you appreciate this function. Uh, do not hesitate to uh, comment to say uh, how it works, I mean, if it works well or not for you. Uh, and please subscribe to the channel to be uh, alerted when there is a new video. Thank you for watching.